Okay, so this is Endless OS, uh, and this is the full version. Yesterday I did the uh, the basic version, which was about two gig. This is more like 12 or 13 gig. And uh, I'm doing it a little bit differently today, so I'm not gonna use the internet, uh, just to show how much stuff is on here without an internet connection, because I just thought that was interesting, because most things rely on the internet these days. Uh, in these troubled times, you might find that you're without an internet connection at some point. Uh, and looking for something to do, especially if you've got kids, and in the case of this, you'll be all right. So if I, so that loads up because it's an ordinary, uh, it's a cached page, I guess. So if I do a search, you'll see that I've got no internet connection. So what can I do on this operating system without an internet connection? Okay, so let's click on Encyclopedia, which brings me back to the 90s where you used to have CD-ROMs with all the information because the internet was so bad and so slow that, uh, and also so expensive that you really didn't want to look for images and, and videos and various things on subjects. So let's type in uh, a subject that I really like. So bicycle. And let's see what it comes up with. It is rather slow. As I say, it's not optimized yet. So here we've got various different things. I see that there's, there's links in here. I wonder if the links work. So you can go through. Yeah, there's all sorts of history in here. So, you know, on a on a day when you when you don't have internet access, or if you've got, uh, I know a lot of the states have limited internet access, so if you're at home watching Netflix a lot and, uh, and you want to limit what you're doing uh, and you've got kids, there's uh, all sorts of things on here. You can see on the right-hand side uh, here how much information there is. There's loads there. Now, I wonder if I can press, uh, if I press the home button on my keyboard. Yeah, that goes back up to the top. Uh, so let's try clicking on one of these links. So if we click on modes of transportation or means of transportation. Oh, and it, look, mode <laughs> comes up there. Uh, so if I press cursor down or page down, page down is probably nicer to use on this because it's a bit laggy. Uh, you can see animal powered, air, human powered, land. Loads of information. I haven't, I haven't really gone through this very much, but I suppose we could try, oh, we might as well try Raspberry Pi and see if there's anything on that. That would be interesting. There is. There you go, Raspberry Pi is a series of single board, uh, small single board computers developed in the United Kingdom. The, right, the text is really big and I'm sat very close to a 43 inch TV. Uh, so let's just scroll down and see what, oh, there's all sorts of information. Like sort of, I wonder if it's like a Wikipedia page or something. But to think that, you know, I've had two subjects like that, well, let's keep going with this and let's try just a country. Let's go with Malta. That's quite random, but uh, yeah, comes up. You wonder, you wonder what, what isn't included. So uh, let's go with BMX. Or oh, BMX isn't in there. Now there's, there's a problem. They, you know, they need the, the greatest transportation of all time. Uh, so what else can we try? Uh, let's try something like PlayStation. Oh yeah, it's all on there, look. Loads of things. Right, so that's Encyclopedia. Obviously, you can have a look around on that and see what you can find. Uh, so Facebook, WhatsApp, these are all going to be things that need the internet. YouTube needs the internet as well. Don't know what the media one is. So photo editor, uh, videos. So there are some videos on here, So and there are some photos on here as well. So you can see here, well, welcome to Shotwell, import photos. Right, so yeah, so there's some there's some photos already in here. And there's even different years. Why is that then? So, 2011, 2012, 2013, 14, 15, 16. So let's pick this one. Double click maybe. Right, so there's a zoom here. Is it quite a low res photo then I wonder? Can we get properties? 
This is like, part of this is like when you used to use a computer years ago. Oh, here we go, look. Oh, that's no, a big photo. View, have we got actual size or full screen, full screen? Whoop. Oh, there you go. So it is a decent, decent quality. And if we want to adjust, get the exposure up, get the contrast down a little bit, pop a little tint on it. No, don't do that. Tint's always a weird one to do. Shadows. Definitely looks worse, doesn't it? So I hit OK. So if I hit Escape, can I get out? Oh, yeah, so I can get out of that. So you've got various things. So this is shot well. Let's go back from that and go back into media. And what do we have? So, so I wonder what, because I clicked on photos. So if I do photo editor, is that a different one to that shot well? Yeah, looks like it is. Open image. Go, so pictures folder. Ah, they're not. They're somewhere else. I, I found this out. They're, they're not actually in the ordinary pictures folder. Document downloads. Anyway, they are they are definitely somewhere else on there, so I won't demonstrate that. I could I could always have a look at that another time. So go back to media. So the videos, I tried this yesterday, and uh, unfortunately the, the hardware isn't up to it. Uh, so it... Uh, because it hasn't got proper hardware support, because this is a beta version, it doesn't actually play. But obviously, when that's sorted out, then we'll have so like you know, like a funny video like this. So if we click on that, an error occurred. I definitely played. What did I play yesterday? Okay, well let's leave that for now. But there, so I need to say there are videos on there. Uh, Tux Paint. So like a uh, well. As it says, we've got different stamps here. Look, kids will definitely have some fun with this, won't they? So next, Audacity, which is uh, an audio editing piece of software, and uh, and I used to use this a lot on Windows to edit some of my MP3s and things like that. Now, I'm not getting any sound through the HDMI, so what I've done is I've plugged in my little 99p sound card. Uh, into a speaker with a wired connection and uh, that's how I'm, I'm getting the sound from it. I did read, or I thought I read on this, I read a lot about different OSs and I thought I read that you could use the HDMI, uh, the second HDMI socket, but I just tried to boot from that and it didn't work for me. So, uh, as I say, I'm using my separate sound card. So let's go to my recent files and open something up. Hit play and you can hear that's playing through if I move the speaker nearer to the microphone and if I want to edit some of that so say I want it to go uh, straight in with the music I can select edit delete and then you can see that the track starts straight in with the music turn up a little bit So I won't go all the way through Audacity, but there is so much stuff you can do with editing uh, on music and it's a really good piece of software. So really nice to see that built into this build. So uh, let's not save that. So image manipulation, and this is really quite an advanced image manipulation, a bit like Photoshop. So there's an awful lot you can do with this. So I won't go through it, but just to show that it's there. There you go. So you can see all sorts of things on here. Also, you can do layers and things. Uh, just like Photoshop, so a very, very advanced photo manipulation piece of software. So really nice to see that. You often see this on uh, Linux builds, and and you know people create some great things from it. I uh, don't know what Inkscape is. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. I didn't, doesn't seem to be able to place that down. What's this? That's just drawing, is it? No. Oh, everything I do does the same sort of thing. Oh no. There we go. Nice and stylish. So, obviously, you can Google that to see what that is. So, and this is a video editing piece of software. Uh, I'm not going to go through everything in every folder, but um, this looked like it would be interesting. Obviously, it's going to need more optimization before this becomes viable, unless your videos are very, very low quality. There you go. But it looks like a, a reasonably functioning 
video editor. So again, you can Google that and see someone using that properly on a system. So Curiosity was, that kind of links in a bit with the encyclopedia, but maybe it's more for little kids. I don't, I don't know. So myths and legends. So let's go with Europe. Oh yeah. So oh, it looks like they're in alphabetical order. You can pick a myth and legend and, and find out about them. So let's go for Daedalus, Daedalus. So you can see, a bit like the encyclopedia, but maybe a bit more in depth information on certain subjects. And we've got that same sort of thing for science, snacks, how to, oh, how to might be interesting. Health is there as well. Travel, that's, that's quite a nice thing to see. We'll have a look at travel in a minute. So how to, so we've got all sorts of subjects here. Obviously we can do a search. So like home and garden, that's 66 items. Is there more? I don't think it scrolls any further than that. So let's click on that. Be organizer, arrange your furniture, arrange pictures, build a backyard, <laughs> there you go. Build a backyard pond. Look at that. Breed turtles, breed, there's all, it's all sorts of random stuff on there, isn't there? Uh, so let's click down through that and again, oh yeah, it's with pictures and everything as well. Okay, let's, let's have a look at the travel one in this section. And let's try Devon. Right, so no matches for Devon, so let's go New York. Okay, so nothing for New York. Uh, maybe it does it more by country, I don't know, although Pompeii showed up just now. Right, let's leave that. Um, but obviously you can can't hunt through there as well. Uh, so I think I've pretty much covered that. The games, uh, some of these are for very young children, but Numpty Physics is one that I covered in a Linux video, and it is a great game. So it's all about drawing, and so you can see here, draw a block. I can draw something which is going to make that shape hit the star, which is not the shape that I did. Right, so let's try that. we go and let's just have a quick look at the next level but it just is it's a really nice relaxed game so next oh okay so let's try maybe something like a little sort of seesaw type thing I don't know if it will go off the screen will it yeah that's not bad we just have to get it in that that wind tunnel and that's not not how we do it let's let's see if we can brute force ourselves through it we can't so you can reset this if you is it this one undo oh yeah that would do so we could just do something like that there you go whoop and up to the star. That's different levels than the uh, than the diff than the other one that I've used. So that's nice to see. Learn to code. Well, I don't really know anything about coding, but you can look up all these things. So Turtle Blocks, Arduino projects, CSS tutorials, and HTML tutorials. HTML5. So these are obviously online. The cooking one's not though. So if you haven't got an internet connection and you want to look up some recipes, there are various different things in here. So you can see, so basic techniques, recipes 115, healthy cooking 56. So let's go for a bit of healthy cooking. Cook carrots, cook on the coal, cook for a diabetic. There you go, cook for a diabetic. There you go. So same sort of um, format as, uh, as the encyclopedia. So there's lots of information in there. Close that down. Uh, music, so there are lots of songs built into this and the songs play fine even though the videos don't seem to. Actually I've, I've restarted so I might go back in. Let's go with a bit of this. Okay, and there's all sorts of, um, so some of these are online but these are actually built into the system and there's a lot of stuff on there, look. Quite a few tracks. So let's go back. So where do they get to? Music. 
more apps obviously need for online uh, and I covered that in the previous video uh, the online bit and the app store uh, and the I, I installed the PSP emulator on the previous video which worked and did download even though there is an issue with the uh, with the app store where it shows that it's not doing anything but it does actually install the app um, so for me it worked but it was just that because it's not hardware accelerated at the moment um, then it's it's just not fast enough so I you know really quite impressive the project that, that they're doing on this so something that has loads of content for offline use so if you have a limited internet connection or no internet connection that's really going to help uh, I was going to go back and just the last thing I was going to try was just to play a bit of video I wonder if any of these are, are lower quality videos I don't think they are they all look pretty high res so let's try that one we've got sound but is the video moving? Yeah, the video's not moving. I had this before, so it, it's basically it's too much information for uh, a non-optimized Pi to handle. So I'll just turn my speaker off. So I did ask uh, the. I put a question on the Endless forums uh, about overclocking, and I did get a response uh, very quickly actually, and uh, it was. So uh, the response was uh, that the endless does have a config.txt because I couldn't find it, uh, which is how you would overclock uh, on the fat boot partition. Uh, if it's not already visible in the documents app, then open the disk app to find, mount, and browse the partition. So I did. I did try, uh, but I and I also tried in various different operating systems. So in the disks app, you can see there. Uh, this is the partition, but I just couldn't access it. So I I changed all sorts of things on here. I just played around with it um, and I think, yeah, I changed it to mount at system startup, figuring that that would mean that it would come available. I've also searched, um, well, I've, I've done loads of searching. I, cu I couldn't get it to work. Um, but then what you're supposed to be able to do is then access that with the documents app, which is like a file browser. Um, but it just doesn't it doesn't show up and I, and I tried all sorts of ways of doing it and I and I couldn't find it so if anybody knows of how to overclock it I mean it's probably I'll revisit endless when it's had a bit more uh, hardware support when it's well maybe when it's still in beta but when it's just had a few more updates uh, to speed it up because it looks like a very promising project so thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe